Welcome back to part four of the 10 gallon vivarium build. And in this part, we'll be finishing up uh, the rest of the enclosure and get it ready to put some stuff into it. So what we need to do is just finish up uh, the front panel here. So I've got a few things uh, set aside and I think just um, not gonna go into every, uh, or film every part of this. I'm gonna tell you what I'm going to do and then show you how it turned out. But it's pretty straightforward. Um, I've got this sheet of acrylic here, which is going to be the door. And that will uh, bring it all the way up to the top where I'll be using this piece of uh, egg crate material to finish up the top. Uh, be able to put the closing mechanism and the ventilation, which we could see right over here. <clears throat> so we'll be making the same thing here. It's pretty straightforward. Um, this will be glued in there, have some screen glued on there, and then just a little uh, couple pieces of acrylic with an acrylic rod for the mechanism. And it worked pretty good. And then of course we'll need to glue the hinges on down here and install a drainage line. So these are pretty much the materials and the tools that I'll be using. Um, so when I cut this to size, uh, there were little sharp bits sticking up off of here. Uh, so I sanded them down, use my Dremel tool, uh, make this nice and smooth. Um, the acrylic pieces, I wanted to cut a piece that's gonna fit exactly in a three by two square. So it has no overhang uh, and just like, a, it's an exact fit there. Uh, so I used just a saw to cut it to, basically the right size, but it was a little bit oversized. And I just took some uh, sandpaper. I think this was 100 grit. Yeah, and just sanded it down and it worked perfect. Just made it the exact size I want it. Um, I'm gonna be drilling a hole in here. I don't have my drill up here yet. Uh, but when I do drill the holes, um, I think I need a quarter inch or something a little bit smaller than that. Uh, but anyway, I'm not gonna just drill the size hole that I want. I'm gonna start with the smallest bit and work my way up. Uh, and each time just test this uh, rod until it'll fit exactly in there. You don't wanna just start with the largest bit. Um, chances are you'll just crack your acrylic. So start small and just keep incrementing your way up. And I'm not sure what else there is to say about that. So I'm gonna get busy and then uh, show you what it looks like in a minute. All right, this is where I'm at so far. Uh, so I've gone ahead and glued uh, this middle piece onto there, drilled some holes, and here's the drill case. So I just started with the smallest hole, or the smallest bits, and progressively worked my way up, making the hole a little bit larger each time until I hit quarter inch. And at that point, um, the acrylic rod will fit very snugly into that hole, and it's a perfect fit. So you don't want to go too big because, well, you can't really put it back. You'll have to start over. Um, and like I said, don't start with the largest bit because you'll probably end up cracking uh, the acrylic. So put that aside. Um, then you'll notice I've already got the screen uh, started on here. And what I'm doing to attach this is basically just use um, this Weld On 3 that I've been using for acrylic. And uh, it just seems to work for this uh, white plastic as well. Um, so I put my screen on there and I just took a very little bit and just kind of drip it along here. And what was happening is it starts to soften up um, the white plastic. I was able to just push this onto there. You could feel the plastic's a little bit sticky um, and it'll just dry into there and it seems to attach. Um, if that doesn't work for you, I'm sure like some sort of super glue or crazy glue would probably work as well. Uh, but this seems to be working pretty good for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up uh, the sides, just wrap it around and then trim off the excess and do the other side as well.
Alright, so my top piece is pretty much all done. I've got the screen and everything glued onto there. Um, so the last step is basically just uh, the closing mesh mechanism. And all I'm going to be doing, um, so this is the outer latch, and I've just glued a little piece of acrylic rod onto that piece, and I just need to assemble the rest. And this is pretty tight. I'm not going to need to glue this. So let's put that in there just like that. This will go through here. That would probably stay just like it is, but it could work its way out. Um, so that's why I have this last piece that will go onto the back. And just press that all the way on. That will keep this in place. And there we have it. And last step is just um, gluing this onto the vivarium along with the door. And we're uh, almost there. All right, so next I'm just going to glue the rest of this together. Um, so I'll be able to remove all this protective paper or plastic. Uh, I'm going to put two hinges down here. I'm going to start at the bottom and work my way up. Uh, so I'm going to glue the hinges down here first, and then glue them to the door, and then I'm going to be doing this top piece last, uh, because as you can see, there is a little bit of play, and uh, when I put this on last, I'm going to put this up as far against the door as I can, uh, just to keep it as tight as a seal as I can. If I just put it on here now, uh, it might be a little bit up too high, or maybe a little too low. I'm going to wait and do that part last. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, so the enclosure is pretty much complete now. A um, few last things. I, I did put the little acrylic tube through there and glued that in place. Um, that allows me to drain out of bottom if it ever does uh, get filled with water. can easily get it out of there. Um, 
I did add this extra piece of acrylic on here, so it gives me something to hold on to, and also so this lines up, and keeps it nice and closed. And uh, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed uh, this part of the build, and tune in next time should be the final uh, chapter where we'll be putting in the drainage layer, the substrate, and the plants. And I think that'll pretty much do it. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.